Welcome to WTF, Ways to Freedom podcast show, where we explore all areas that bring freedom and state of mind, body, and spirit. For the next nine minutes, sit back, open your mind, and take a journey with your host, M. Wei Bei Nishong He. Peace, peace, peace all, and welcome to WTF No Not What The Fuck. For Ways to Freedom podcast, created and hosted by yours truly, and Mbwebe Ashangi. Now, you may know of me from my creation of the Ghetto Times magazine and theghettotimes.com. Uh, we're certainly uh, currently celebrating our 31st year, by the way, started in 1993. And as a cultural journalist, I write about pertinent issues of the Black experience, domestic and diasporically with the intent of ridding the cultural lobotomy that we've experienced intergenerationally at the hands of colonialism. Or you may know of me as a financial therapist from the Crypto Wolf Financial Sustainability Movement, where I teach new and age-old money methodologies on ways that enable you to live off your savings and investments. And then there's the last choice. You might have never heard of me at all. Either way, I welcome you to my new venture into the realm of podcasts. So this part is to give you an overview of what to expect in each episode. The what, the why, and when about WTF. So WTF is WTF. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, Ways the Freedom Podcast Show is a series addressing the needs of history, philosophy, finances, health, spirituality, tech, and music. And get this, you'll get a wealth of info each time in just nine minutes per episode. The spin is my thoughts are based on cultural specs of what's called the 10 areas of people activity, which was created by Drs. Neely Fuller Jr. and Francis Cress Welsing. And Brother Kiti Awadu also came up with the 10th area called health. So here the 10 areas are, is economics, entertainment, education, labor law, politics, religion, sex, and war. And as I mentioned before, health as being the 10th one founded by Brother Keating. Now, what are those 10 areas? What do they consist of? When you think about what controls the world, who, who you know, there are people that control things, right? So who are these people that control our education? Who are these people that are in control of our politics? Who are these people that are in control of religion, of of, of um you know, uh, education, entertainment, you know, politics, et cetera, as I mentioned, who are these people? They are actually families that are in control of these things. And when you look these folks up, they are not of our persuasion, right? They're definitely, definitely of other ethnicities. So they are in control of how we've been indoctrinated on how we operate. So because of that, we've kind of followed this template cookie cutter mindset of how we're supposed to live our lives. I say that because if you look at today's world, you'll find that each of these areas are controlled, as mentioned, by other ethnicities with a clear, bold, and even sometimes subtle tactic of suppression and fear. Uh, for example, there's no reason whatsoever, other than to control and profit off of people, that we are the only living species on this planet that has to pay rent to live here. Now, let that sit in your spirit for a minute. We are the only species on this planet that has to pay to be here. All right. So while we hustle to make a dollar to give to our landlord or the bank, we spend less time overstanding our real purpose for being born. We weren't born to work and then die. Yet, status is based on how much money you have or how good your credit score is. If you like what you heard so far, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also notification bell so you can get more updates on as we release our new uh, episodes coming out. So let's address the why. As said, we live in a world that has found success in programming the thoughts and opinions of the masses. Let's face it, we live in a world where Google is the teacher. Most have relinquished reading, studying, 
going to an actual lecture and hearing a professor or someone that's in their space professionally speak about what they know. And the most important thing we've gotten rid of is logic. We don't even use common sense anymore. You know, if someone posts on social media something and it gets 10,000 plus likes, it becomes gospel. Whether it's true or not, the masses believe based solely on those likes. And folks would rather regurgitate a 30-second clip than actually read a book and give you more information so that you can stand firm on what it is that you say you know, right? So I saw this imbalance. I've seen it for a long time, and I wanted to create something to combat it. I've done it through my writings. Now I know I need to upgrade to stay relevant is to get into the space of podcasts. So I'm going to be sharing things I'm not seeing. And we're going to be going in using again as our basis uh, the 10 areas of people activity. So the intention of the WTF podcast show is to enlighten you on the flip side of the coin resuscitating the inquisitive nature that's been put under a spell, which is the key to finding your way back to true freedom. The win. So we look to release episodes every nine days or roughly bi-weekly. And to help grow this channel, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you will be aware of when we release new content. All right. Uh, I look forward to you joining me for each episode. Uh, I'm really excited about the, the wealth of topics that we'll be talking about. I can't wait to release and share this with y'all. So just please stay tuned. Um, I look forward to you joining me for each episode. I look to be engaging. I hope to share some things with you that will make you either say, hmm, I didn't know that, or you know what, you're right. I knew that too. I was saying it the other day. <laughs> you know what I mean? And in the meantime, check out our current show and archives at WTFpodcastshow.com. Um, in the meantime, stay spiritually stimulated, mentally liberated, and back it up by being physically prepared. We got this. Our ancestor said so. Bless.